Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, so, what I know here. I'm the James Yu. I have uh, metal, uh, electronic, and uh, construction recycled business. And uh, we have uh, same time equipment uh, with waste metal. Also, we are uh, picking up the what you call uh, commercial uh, rubbish, too. You know? So uh, uh, we're doing quite well. Uh, also, I'm the uh, board member of the uh, National Small uh, the Contractors Association, uh, Washington chapter. And uh, we do pretty good uh, lobbying activity with uh, the inside area you know, for benefit of minority. Uh, so my mission is I try to bring more, what do you call the uh, people of color, uh, the Asian uh, community people. So uh, hopefully okay, we can be a very viable force. Right now we are very actively engaged with the Port of Seattle uh, Commissioner's Office and also Director of the uh, Airport Operation, also Director of uh, uh, Marine Division. So a lot of the uh, active uh, dialogue going on between us and the uh, Seattle. So hopefully someday people here can be benefited. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Mm -hmm. My name is Keith Hilts. I'm here at the Equality Construction. I do uh, underground utilities. I build in um, site development. Uh, I recently ran into Dan and uh, been really impressed with the, uh, the way he conducts himself and how he moves around and does a 50 million things at one time. So I'm here tonight to support and wish him well. Annette Dempsey, the other half of the A and D. Quality Construction Company. Uh, we are a general contractor, so I do more on the administrative support side, where the field is more on the field side. Thank you. Henry. Oh, my name is Henry Yates. Uh, I'm a Thai salesman. Uh, wrong, wrong place to be selling Thai, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have a uh, business, Yates Consulting. I do uh, government affairs work, lobbying work at the state, uh, local, and uh, federal level. I also do uh, some business development and uh, public affairs work. Uh, I am Zach Kemplin. I'm with uh, Interface Financial Group, along with me. <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Olano, and I'm also I'm the principal of Interface Financial Group, and we provide <coughs> financing and working capital to contractors. And so I thought it was an opportunity to introduce you to our services. Then I don't know if you want me to go into detail now or hand out any materials or when we get later in the program. Okay, there you go. All right. Mel, and also Mel, I, I'm going to brag about. You know, a lot of us around the room work in different organizations and we volunteer our, excuse my language, our asses off. Mel is one of those ambassadors who really is an ambassador of small business. Not only does she volunteer for ABC, she volunteers for Tabor 100 and was silly enough to volunteer for our organization. Um, she actually has uh, gone a little more, gotten more active in being proactive with our organization, Rod, over here. Um, and that she's actually helping us design some logos uh, for messaging and for EIW. So I just wanted to thank our, our champion volunteers. Mel? Thank you. Melanie Napoli with Omical, and I work with companies on communication strategies, branding, and marketing. I'm Roy Freeman. I'm with Freeman Roofing. Um, we are primarily a commercial company. We do roofing, waterproofing, and siding. Matt Bailey, I'm an HR consultant of 30 years in the field and I own staffing services, which primarily um, staff for the faculty. Thank you. 
and it, this this lovely young couple back here has a little history with me and uh, I'm gonna start by doing their introductions but I'll let them introduce themselves these beautiful people back there are my, actually my grandparents they're located right here in Bellevue so they're actually able to make this meeting it's hard because our meetings are all over the place but feel free to say a couple words Graham Grams. Well, we've known you since you were this big. <laughs> <laughs> I was never this big. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been wonderful watching you grow and develop and uh, contribute. Thank you. Someone who also knows me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there since you were this big. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in college. And, uh, you went to college? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I just like to echo uh, what his grandparents are saying. Uh, I had him since he was, was you a freshman in college? Yeah, freshman in college, so I've been with him a long time. I'm probably talking about me, not you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, my name is Dan from Lincoln Fielders. I'm a general contractor, but I really do want to say something about that. I've been with him since he was 19 years old. He was a freshman in college. I think he was playing football. He was, I mean, he was doing all kinds of stuff, so he's always been multitasking. And uh, he worked for my company, and he never let me down, period, since he was 19 years old. I think he's close to 40 now. So he, he's, a, he's a good guy, and we're, we're lucky to have him. Checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Bailey, and I'm with my wife, Annette, and support her with Link Staffing. Hi, uh, my name is Roger Benson. I'm with Emmy Mortensen Company. We're a commercial <coughs> general contractor. Uh, that's maintained an office here in the Seattle area for about 30 years now. We do a few hundred million dollars worth of work a year. And, and I guess one of the things I'd like to communicate to all of you is that we're particularly interested in developing better relationships with um, WMBE small business enterprises here in the South area. If we don't know you, I would tell you we'd like to uh, because uh, we're committed to mentorship of, of small business and frankly we need your help on our projects. Thank you very much Roger. Oh hi I'm Robin Parkinson. Um, I'm a lawyer. I feel like I have to get that out immediately. Um, I'm actually um, here because I'm on both the local and the national board for the Design Build Institute of America and um, uh, Dan wanted me to say a few things about it, but I... You are supposed to bring dinner, actually. Uh, <laughs> he's also involved with TBIA, which is <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to skip over to this side because we just had a uh, gentleman join us. I'm Rod Butler, uh, uh, architect, M3 architects. Uh, mostly do affordable housing here in Seattle. Uh, also do some work in California. Thank you. And back over here, well, since we're talking about architects. I'm Atua Piafi. I'm also an architect. I have a small architect of practice right in Belgium. We have five person firms who provide up very uh, uh, detailed, personalized one-on-one uh, -on -one attention. We focus on schools, um, public works, as in civic, um, big boxes, as in hall schools and safe way, and also um, tenant improvement. I'm Kaz Roberts, uh, president of Urban Tech Systems. We're a multi discipline engineering and construction uh, management firm. We generally focus uh, quite a bit on um, municipal work and those types of projects. Keith? I'm Keith Johansson with Johansson Mechanical. Um, we're an HVC commercial HVC contractor in Woodenville, and we also do custom stainless steel fabrication. Been in business 29 years, and we've also worked with Glenn a lot of the years. So it's been a good uh, partnership. Thank you, Dustin. I'm Dustin Walling. Uh, my company is Dustin Walling Associates, and I do management consulting to help uh, companies and business owners grow through performance barriers and grow to new levels. And the, say the best for last. Now, you've known me. They were just talking about yeah. who's known me the longest about. <laughs> <laughs> I met Dan on a community service project. He was an ABC member. We really got to know each other. And we had done 
a lot of sheetrock work in the back bedroom, which had long shag carpeting. So you know what it looked like at the end of the day. And Dan was down on his hands and knees, did two bedrooms, and his hands and knees with a shop back. I was impressed. <laughs> at the end of the day, we'd been working for you know 12, 14 hours, and he was not going to leave till our carpeting was in good, good shape. So I didn't know whether he was noisy or thorough. <laughs> it was a toss-up. Um, I'm Kathleen Garrity. I'm your host today. Thank you very much for coming to our education center. I'm the president of Associated Builders and Contractors of Western Washington. We're one of 70 chapters throughout the country. We have as members general contractors, subcontractors, um, professionals, insurance, accounting, bonding, and law, um, and management consultants. Um, and what sets us apart from all the other construction associations is that we are what I affectionately refer to as the free enterprise freaks. We believe, believe in free enterprise solutions, which is what led us to working with Dan and, and Len over the years that we think rather than having government set-asides, um, I don't know most of you, so I'm going to say something totally politically incorrect. But my own personal view is that set-asides create a ghetto, and they tell you to go there and stay there. And 20 years later, you're still there. We think that Free Enterprise Solutions grows your company, connects you with other companies, and allows you to move out into the, the wider community. So our job, our passion for the last um, 10 or 15 years has been to work with minority contractors. We've received two national diversity um, grants from our national organization because they think that what we do is pretty unusual. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not what other people do. Because we want to grow your capacity and, and have you come and, and join us and play in the bigger playground and not be set aside where you just go there, stay there, don't make too much noise, and everything will be cool. So my apologies if I've upset anybody, but we think for enterprise is the better solution which means we have to step up to the plate. Well, I think